Let's talk about Christmas Day, chaos or calm. Which will you choose? Mm, let me see. I want to choose calm. What about you, Sue? What do you want to choose? Chaos or calm? Well, actually, um, I'm always a guest on Christmas Day because uh, what I did years ago, because we're a blended family, we have our Christmas Day with everyone the week before Christmas. So mm -hmm. for that day, it's my day. So, yes, I would say I have a calm chaos. A calm chaos. Oh, like that, like yeah. that, like that. Yeah. What about you, Stel? What are you choosing? Chaos or calm? Uh, uh, calm. I just go with the flow. <laughs> you know, love it love it a perfect example is last christmas i forgot the prawns and the desserts that were in the fridge <laughs> <laughs> did you and, go back and, and get guess them? what guess what sal the world kept going <laughs> absolutely the world kept turning <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> oh dear me uh, so it is Peter, Sue and Sal here and we are from Strong Healthy Women and today we want to talk about Christmas Day and, you know, sometimes it is just can be so chaotic and we look to have all, everything just perfect and, you know, uh, when we try to do that, what ends up happening is that the tiniest little thing can really, really throw us into chaos and upset us a lot. Whereas what we want to do is we want to have, yeah, a, as cruisy a day as we possibly can, particularly if we're the host person, we want to enjoy it. We don't want to be the person who's out there in the kitchen all alone doing everything. We want to be the person who is involved. One of the things when I was thinking about this topic was um, how, my family in particular, um, and I'm also a blended family like Sue, and uh, so there, when they first came to my place and we did Christmas Day, it was like, this place is so relaxed. It's so calm. It's we're not used to this. Um, this is some. This is a new experience. I'm loving the calm of Christmas Day. And I said, well, you know, it really comes down to a couple of things. Start the day with intention. So, you know, what is it and how do I want to achieve Christmas Day? Do I, do I want the chaos or do I want the calm? But then if you're going to set an intention, the next part of it comes to planning. So we then have to go into planning mode. Now, Sue has cracked us up before we came on air today, and she has told us a little bit of a story about her planning, and I have just had the biggest belly laugh. So over to you, Sue. Share that story. It was great. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just set the scene. Blended family, and in year, in the early years, probably like you, Peter, everyone, because of a blended family, the, the children usually have several places to go to on Christmas Day and then they get together with partners and, of course, that adds to more visits. So we were always the last. They'd come to us at some uh, Christmas night and everybody would be over Christmas by then. So I decided that we would have our family together together the week before. And uh, so what you were laughing at was we had our family get together yesterday and unfortunately half my family were ill so they couldn't come which took my calm away a little bit when I first found out but anyway got over that <laughs> but I always I always have a running sheet and so I said to them when they came, okay, this is the running sheet for the, today. We're having lunch. We're having a swim. We're having presents. We're having dessert. And one of our grandsons said, oh, do you think we could have the um, presents before the swim? And I said, mm, let me check the running sheet. And I said, <laughs> yes, of course, we can, we can swap the, we can swap the presents and the swim and have a new new running sheet that's fine so I suppose I'm being funny about it all but for me I do like to be organized because <laughs> I, I love doing it all but if I'm not organized and if I don't have my plan as you said uh, Peter it's chaos so for me to have a calm day I do my 
menu and everything. I prepare that before the day. I know what I'm doing. I have things that are easy to serve, but they look nice and festive. And um, yes, I do have to be a bit more flexible uh, when it comes to my running sheet. But it just, if <laughs> I've got that, I feel that I can be calm and enjoy the day. And there's a bit of a I don't know, a focus to it all. So so that's how I work mine out. But also take the pressure off everyone else by having it um, one less place they have to visit on Christmas Day by having it early. So tell me this about your running sheet. Is it actually like physically written down and you pull out that running sheet and you're ticking it off as you go? Well, you probably won't see it, but yeah, oh yes, we can. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Sorry, bit of a planner, bit of a list maker, bit of a list ticker. That's me, and oh, but no. that gives me calm because I, I'm, you know, I have it in my mind how I'd like it to be. If it doesn't go to plan, okay, the world doesn't end, like Sal with her forgetting to get the prawns out. But it just <laughs> makes me, as the host, feel a little bit more organized so I can say okay I know what's happening I I can relax and enjoy it all because I'm following the plan the running sheet beautiful perfect perfect love it I think that Christmas day is no different to any other day so for me personally I believe that we need a routine of and for Christmas Day, it might be a very different routine to every other day of the of the year, but I, I think that routines are really, really important. So, you, you know, one of the things when all the kids were little was they were all up at the crack of dawn, so which meant everybody had to get up at that time and it was always just, you, you know, wrapping paper going everywhere and everybody going crazy over the, the Santa presents and opening them up. But you just, you went with that, you enjoyed it um, rather than going, oh, my goodness, there's paper everywhere, um, I I really need to clean up, I've got people coming over, you know, again, it comes back down to worrying about whether it's perfect for other people. Um, but so for me now, I have a very different routine because there are no kids at home. So every single Christmas morning I get up and I go for a walk or a jog and, you know, it is, it's, it's beautiful outside there's no one around or if I happen to go past someone's house which is you know a little bit difficult because I live out in the country but if I do sometimes you hear you know those kids in the house and all the excitement going on as well too and that's a great thing because what that does for me is it it allows me to harness those emotions and those feelings that that I had from those memories of those times with the kids going crazy when they were all little. Yeah, it's 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 different as you get older and, and the children grow up, but mm. uh, it is nice not to have, you know, that's a calming way to start the day, isn't it? Mm, absolutely. Sal, tell us about we're, we're actually, sorry, I was just going to say we're actually now, you know, our household is going back to that. And I was laughing because yeah. Olivia on the weekend, everybody mm. knows Olivia's had a baby. Um, so Olivia on the weekend and she's saying to Quinn and Zali, right, you guys have to get up early Christmas Day because we want to get the presents unwrapped and all that sort of thing. And I looked at her and I went, oh, well, isn't that a turn of events, love? And she said, what do you mean? And I said, well, I remember last Christmas we had to set the, the smoke alarm off to get you lot out of bed. I said, <laughs> now you she, she's getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning Christmas Day because she wants to do the presents for Landon, you know. Um, so we're going back to that, um, that, that, you know, from when my kids were little and it's, it's exciting. Yeah. Mm, mm, it is yeah. and can I can I say that that chaos as Peter said you know if you're in that situation <laughs> where you have the present opening the gift openings and that 
it's a lovely sort of chaos, isn't it? Because mm. everyone's happy and they're all the kids are ripping it. Paper means more to them than they give them the present, but <laughs> it's all about um, you know, that's that's a nice sort of chaos that you can get um involved with. But if you, you know, if you're hosting, uh, I really think you do need to plan because otherwise you're not going to feel comfortable. You're not going to enjoy it because you're worrying about, oh, what have I got to do now? Or what, you know, what's happening? Mm. Um, but also <clears throat> you have to be that flexibility. And I think you said, Peter, about it doesn't have to be perfect. The mm. whole point to me of Christmas, yes, I love my running sheet. I love doing everything like that. But the whole point to me is having my family around me. Absolutely. And to, you know, and everybody feeling happy, everybody feeling good. Some of the family we don't see very often during the year. So it's a special time when we all get together, we catch up and that's really more important than perhaps what colour the Christmas crackers are or whether they <laughs> colour coordinate with something else, you know. Mind you, I do that. But, oh. um, <laughs> you know, I think I think we've got to, you know, to help with the calm, you need to focus on what the real meaning is mm -hmm. for you for the day. And yeah. for most of us, that's being with our loved ones at, and enjoying the time with them. You know, I'm three sisters, and I know on Christmas Day when we get together on Christmas Day, you know, two of those sisters have got OCD, you know. So, so I know for me, I can just sit back and relax. They'll take <laughs> care of it. <laughs> I want to come back to the planning because I totally agree with you, Sue, um, when it comes to the planning of meals. I think that's the important thing. And... Um, this year, Christmas Day is at a daughter-in-law's house and um, she was talking about everything and it was delegated out for different people to bring different things. And I said, oh, you don't really need that. And she said, I know, but because it's <clears throat> this side of the family, you know how they like to have all of that stuff, so therefore it's got to be included. I said nobody ever eats it. It's just too much food. And I think that's the one of the important aspects of Christmas Day from my perspective is don't go crazy on the food. Um, think about it and so that you're not having too much left over and then you know, worrying about what you're going to do with all of those leftovers. So one of the things that's happening this year is my mum has is going to have Christmas Day. So I'm going to, you know, toggle between two. So I'll be going over to her place. But she said, I don't want to cook. And I said, that's fine. Let's just do some lovely ham and some fresh salads. And she said, okay, mm. that sounds like a plan. So um <clears throat> I think it's important you don't have to stick with all the traditions. You can just keep the ones that are important to you. Will we have plum mm. pudding? Oh, yeah, because we both love plum pudding. So, you know, mm. sticking with those those ones, those traditions that are really important to you and planning those meals and making it easy on yourself. I know mm. that when we're hosting here, we cater for the whole thing. But I always look at it as to what can I do leading up to it so that I've got things prepared and so mm. it's just big pots of, of, you know, veggies or whatever that they're all there and everyone goes, oh, do you need me to do something? Oh, no, it's okay. It's just it's there. It's, it's hovering in the background. It'll be ready when it's ready type of thing. So mm. I I, I also think that it's important to have your peaceful place as well. So if you're not at home and you're going to someone else's house <clears throat> and you've been there before, there's probably a little spot in that house where you can go to if you need to find that little bit of calm, particularly if you're going into a chaotic situation. So, you know, I also have a family who have mental health issues and so that Christmas day is always very, very chaotic. Um, you know, the emotions are sometimes really high and then the emotions are sometimes very low and you never know what you're going to get. 
and sometimes it will be both in the in the one day um and so i know where my peaceful place is and so what i will do is when i need when i find myself starting to escalate into a little bit of chaos i will actually duck to that peaceful place to you know bring my nervous system back down and to feel that little bit of calm again so that I'm ready to keep going with that day. Otherwise, you know, I would just get home and just be an absolute, you know, nervous wreck and I wouldn't have enjoyed the day. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Can I just say too, yesterday we were talking and and um, uh, my son-in-law, uh, one of my son-in-laws said, uh, oh, you know, you do this every year. And I said, well, I love to do it and I like to do it all. And he said, well, I think it's about time we all start bringing something as well. Mm. So don't be afraid to let go. Um, I mean, as I said, I just love it. I, I wouldn't mind if it was Christmas every day, you know. I think there's a good song title in that. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's I, I enjoy that but for people that might get a little bit overwhelmed you know you might say oh we'll have it at our place this year and then you think oh why did I say that <laughs> don't be afraid to say well you know Peter can you bring the salad Sal can you yeah. bring this can you bring that and then that way there's less pressure on you to have to worry about trying to cater for everybody. What am I going to do? Especially if you don't enjoy the cooking or things like that. Mm. Um, so make it easy on yourself by delegating. And people are more than happy to, you know, all pitch in and, and bring something. And for me, I think I prefer that than having everybody say, oh, what can I do to help? And you've got about 10 people in yeah. the kitchen. I would rather them just bring a plate and then that way the pressure's off you. So if you don't like cooking or you don't like doing those sort of things, don't be afraid to say, well, I'm happy to have it at our place, but can everybody, um, you know, bring something and work out what they're going to bring so you mm. don't have four turkeys coming along or, you know, you've got to organise what everybody brings. But, um, you know, I think it's a good thing not to feel guilty about delegating. Mm. I think... Uh activities having activities organized as well too now I know mm. Sal that your family they are the kings and queens of activities I've seen some of those fantastic games that you guys <laughs> play on Christmas day and because there are so many yes. of you it it just looks like it's an absolute hoot so tell us about it some is. activities and you know how they how they've come into being and and you know what what how it makes you feel so a couple of the activities we have done in the past is so pass the parcel with your christmas mittens mm -hmm. so you wear christmas mittens and it's past the parcel and when the music stops you've got to try and unwrap it with christmas mitt no, christmas not mittens you know, your, your stove, your oven gloves. Oven, yeah, yeah the Christmas oven, oven gloves. Yes, yes. So uh, they were one of the games. One of my favourite games was, and I have a video of, because mum and I were the partner, we were mm -hmm. the partners, um, and it was the Christmas just before my dad passed. So my dad was in this video as well. But it was... <laughs> you had a Oreo on your chin <laughs> and you had to get the Oreo to your forehead. <laughs> and the thing that was so funny is my mum had a big tongue, a big long tongue, and she used to show us all the time, look, I can touch my nose and all that sort of thing. So, you know, it was just watching her and, you know, trying to get this Oreo up onto her forehead and moving your head. And it was just such a fun, fun time, you know, and it's always, you know, um, the boys against the girls and the girls, you know, we're better and the boys are no, we're better. And it's just such, such a, you know, fun memories and it's great because all the grandkids get involved too they love it as well yeah. um you know and as you said Peter there's so many of us I've got three sisters so they're partners the kids 
Um, you know, so there's so many of us. So there's, yeah, lots of fun activities. Um, we've picked out a few games this year that we're going to do. Um, yeah, so we're very excited about all that. And, and I think that that's another important thing is part of the planning, isn't it, to actually organise some fun activities because what that does is it gives you the opportunity to to laugh like crazy, to interact with other people as well too on a very different level. And I think that these days life can be so serious that those good belly laughs, we need more of those and no better yeah. time to do it than on Christmas Day. In Christmas, yeah. yeah. Mm, absolutely. And, of course, we have a pool so we don't have to organise too many activities. Everybody just, you know, it's just bomb dives off the side of the pool, you know, everybody holding hands or just, you know, great fun, great fun in the pool. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. We've got, you know, it's always backyard cricket as well because we've got cricketers oh. in the in the family as well, Max yeah. and um, Max and Harry. So it's always cricket in the backyard, you know. Um, and I mean, look, that cricket game could go all day. Yeah, it's just <laughs> everyone walking in and out, in and out, because you know, boys would play cricket forever if they could. <laughs> well, let's face it, cricket games do go on for a long time <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right let's wrap it up girls uh, sue last pieces of advice have a running sheet but don't <laughs> stress out if you have to swap your running sheet around it's all about the family and enjoying time with them yeah beautiful Sal, what about you Mine is just, you know, go with the flow. Go with, go the, flow. with the flow. As I said, I've got two sisters with OCD. I can sit, sit back and relax because I know that <laughs> something will trigger them and they'll get up and do it. <laughs> I'm just going to read you the points that I wrote down th this morning when I was thinking about this. It's um, start with some type of intention and that intention is to have Christmas calm. Make some type of plan and if you want to follow Sue, get your running sheet. Set some limits and some boundaries and find a peaceful place so that if you are starting to feel that little bit of chaos in your, in your being, then go to that peaceful place. Schedule those activities and make them fun so you can actually have a big belly laugh. Try and avoid people and situations that create chaos, but if you can't, find a way to deal with that, like that peaceful place that I mentioned, and just simply simplify Christmas and enjoy it for the day that it is. And I will always, and I want to add one final thing that isn't on my list, which is that I have actually... I've done this for many years now. Um, every time I hear that someone is spending Christmas alone, um, I end up taking them in for a Christmas meal, um, and that's usually the evening meal. Um, so I have just discovered that there is somebody else that I know that is going to be spending Christmas alone. So um, I will actually be talking to them on during the week to see if they will come over and have a meal with us. Um, having been someone who has experienced Christmas Day alone without family and without friends, um, I know how um, gut-wrenching that can be. And I, I think it's important when you can actually open your arms up and take somebody else in that you you, you can do that because I think that's, isn't that the real meaning of, of Christmas is to, to give to other people as well too. That's over and out for us Absolutely. today. Thank you, ladies, for joining me, and we will see you all very soon. Bye for now. Bye, Merry everyone. Christmas. Bye. Bye. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.